Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be making easy, cheap garlic bread and cheese. Nice and simple, doesn't cost a lot. Um, but I'll show you what kind of bread we're using first. That'll make it easier. Okay guys, this is what I'm using. It's a bake me crusty at home bread from Asda. I actually got this as an oops. So today is the 17th. So I got this for 10 pence. Should have been 1.15. So you can see it's a big massive bloomer. So basically I'm going to stick this in the oven for the 8 minutes at 180. Get it nice and crispy. And then what I'm going to do is once it's done, I'm going to cut it in half. Along this way. So that can flip it open. And then we'll toast the insides under the grill and get some garlic butter and cheese on that uh, and then that'll do us so let me just get this in the oven and I'll show you what it's like when it comes out ok guys that's the bread done nice and crispy so next step is I'm gonna, it's going to be cut long ways uh, and then it'll be flipped open and then we'll put it under the grill to toast the inside and then that's when we'll get the um, the garlic butter and cheese on and then it'll go back under the grill again to get the cheese on nice and melted um, and then that'll be it so for basically no money whatsoever apart from 10 pence for the bread some mozzarella cheese and a wee bit of garlic paste and butter there'll be enough garlic bread to eat to last well to serve quite a few people I like to just put it in a bag and I stick it in the freezer I've done it loads of times, it's fine, it doesn't um, it doesn't do it any harm. I just I hate to waste anything, so whatever's left over will be going back in the freezer. So uh, I'll get this cut open and uh, we'll get back. Okay guys, that's the, the loaf cut in half. It just about fits in the oven. That's a bit big, I should have probably cut it in half and done it, but we'll go with this. So I'm going to stick it in the, under the grill now, just to toast the top. And then we'll get some um, garlic butter on it and some uh, mozzarella cheese and some oregano. Let's make it a sort of posh garlic bread. So we'll get that on now. Okay, and for the garlic butter, just a couple of tablespoons of butter. And then I'll be using this, just that garlic puree. A little scoop of that, and a little scoosh of that, I think. I don't think I've got much left, but... Yeah, that should be plenty. Okay, give that a good mix up, and then stick it in the microwave for 30 seconds, just to melt it down a bit. And then uh, it should be good to go. So we're we'll using a mixture of this mozzarella ball from Asda and also this grated mozzarella, this big bag, one kilo bag from Costco. Only cost about four pound. Good value. So um there'll be a combination of these going on. Just to make it a bit, a bit of cheesy garlic bread and I've also got a spicy red tomato sauce as a uh, dipping sauce. So uh, we'll get this cut up. Okay, so that's the bread all nice and toasted, nice and crispy. Now we get the butter and cheese on top. Okay, garlic butter's on, and the mozzarella grated cheese and uh, diced mozzarella all on as well. So looking pretty nice, and some oregano on top. These things are massive. <laughs> Uh, it is basically a full bloomer loaf, it just cut in half, so uh, there is definitely going to be a lot left over. Um, as I said, it won't go to waste. So, we'll get this under the grill again for another 5-6 minutes, make sure that cheese gets nice and melted and browned. And then uh, we'll have another look. Okay guys, here's the finished product. And here's one that I've cut up. Makes a bit of a mess, but 
the looks of business. I've got a wee bit of dipping sauce there, so we'll we'll give it a try. Right, so let me give this a try. That's a bit of a beast. But um here it goes. Okay, just got a wee end section there. <laughs> Size it. Just in case you were wondering how big they are. <laughs> As you can see they're massive. But very very nice. Alright guys, thanks for watching. So say like and subscribe. I'm looking to try and get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Um, so thanks for watching. I'll keep the videos coming. See you next time.